Just wanna go Just wanna go Home, home I'm on my way back home Never Skip Brunch. Today we're gonna be DIYing a sunglass rack to hold all of your sunnies. If you're like me, you have a zillion pairs that you're always losing. So this rack will help keep all your sunglasses organized. It's really simple to make even if you don't have woodworking experience and you can totally customize it with pops of color and the size depending on what's gonna work best in your space and how many pairs of sunglasses you have. So before we get started, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with all of my fun and fresh ideas. I bring you DIY projects and home decor advice, so if you like this DIY, you're gonna wanna stick around. So this sunglass rack has kind of a nautical vibe because um, I incorporated some rope. I actually designed this piece for my new mudroom that's getting a total makeover. Our sunglasses really didn't have one home. They kind of were just thrown all over the counter in different drawers. So I wanted to create a space that's on the way out the door because in sunny Colorado, you need sunglasses most days and that way they're all in one spot. I wanted to create a display element that I can incorporate in my space that also has the functionality of storage. Step number one is just to build a frame the size that you want your hanger. So mine is 30 inches this way and about 18 inches this way. I built this out of one by two lumber and I just cut the corners at a 45 degree angle. I used my miter saw, but you can use a miter box, which is like, I wanna say 10 bucks from Home Depot. It comes with a box and a saw and it guides you to cut a straight 45 degree angle. So it's a really easy way to cut those angles. Um, you don't need a power tool. And then basically you just line them up and you can use a stapler, like you can staple across and you can secure the corners of the stapler like this in some wood glue. Or what I did was actually to use my finish nailer and nail straight into the corner. So there's nails that are going in this side down into this board and then one going in this side into this board. So it keeps it nice and secure. Um, I'll also put the measurements for these boards in the full blog post so you can um, have those as well. It's basically like 30 inches from the long part of the cut. Like you can see how it goes like this. It's 30 inches starting here and then going to here and then 18 inches starting here and then going to here. So this inside cut is shorter. After you have your frame built, the next step is to cut out a piece of wood to be the back. So I got this wood. It was a two by four project panel board that was only like four bucks. Um, and it's decently thin, but really smooth. I wanted a smooth surface to be able to paint. So you could also use cardboard. You could even also use paper because the back doesn't have to have anything attached to it. It's just decorative. Um, you could even leave your frame with no back, but I wanted to add a pop of color on the back. So this, I just traced my frame onto the board and then cut around it so it fits flush. I have a couple extra pieces from that. You can do this with a jigsaw, or if you don't have any power tools, feel free to use some sturdy cardboard and just cut it out with scissors or a box knife. In my mudroom, I painted the door this coral color, which you can see right there. So I'm gonna paint the back of it pink and then stain this front frame. dry and the next step is to drill my holes on the sides. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to drill holes on each side of the frame and have a rope swing between the sides and then we can stack sunglasses on the rope. So for this I am going to drill a hole um, on the side at one and a fourth inch um, then nine inches down and then another nine inches. So in total it's from this end one and a fourth, from this end ten and a fourth, 
and from that end, um, 19 and a fourth. So I'm gonna have three ropes total, and I'm just drilling circular holes just enough for my rope to go through and tie a knot on this side to secure it. This is about this thick, and I'm gonna be using a 3 8 bit. This is a Forstner bit, and it drills a really clean hole. Um, these are my favorites. They come in like a little set, and of course, you know I love Ryobi. So I'm gonna get to drilling these holes. sand my frame to get all the bumpy parts all even, kind of a high grit sandpaper just to get it smooth but not really to reshape it. Next step was to stain the frame. Um, you can see it's pretty light and kind of like rustic looking. To get this look, instead of just using the stain as is, um, I used this early American stain from Verathane and I mixed it with a half, um, half and half water and then I used a wet rag to rub it on. So it went on really light and kind of uneven, um, which gives it kind of a more rustic boho feel instead of it just being all the same color. So now you can see the insides are smooth where I drilled my holes and I can go ahead and start attaching my rope. Okay, so to attach this rope, I'm just gonna start with an end that is knotted, and I'm going to um, measure across my frame and then give myself a couple inches extra and then cut. If you have string that comes apart easily, like this is a rope and it's all twisted, you can just take some tape and kind of secure the end to make um, almost like a point, a more pointed needle that so this is going to help me thread it through my holes um, and with my knotted end I left some fibers unraveled to kind of give it more texture and interest this is cotton rope so it has some give in it so even if I pull it super tight when I hang something on it it's going to push down so I'm going to pull it pretty tight and then tie my knot on this side so you can see it's super tight and this is tight, but once I start hanging sunglasses on it, it's gonna pull down a little bit. So once my knot is tied, I can just cut the end and then fray this one a little bit, just like the other sides, which adds a little texture. So the final step is attaching the back onto the frame and adding a little bit of hardware. So these are just some picture hooks. I'm going to use nails to attach them at the top after I get the back on. And then to attach the back, I'm using these wood screws. They're one and a fourth inch long. And the thing about this is you wanna make sure that they are not longer than your boards. They're not gonna stick out the front. Um, and screws are really best because it's gonna kind of cinch both the boards together and um, give us a really tight hold. So much for watching I hope you liked this video if you did be sure to like it not just emotionally give it a thumbs up and then hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with my channel and all the fun projects coming at you from never skip brunch